and welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie, and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two-minute art tip. You know when you're like watching an instructor sometimes and they'll do something or they'll use a terminology that you don't fully understand and because they're on their own personal track, you're like, wait, 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 why did you do that? What are you talking about? Like, and you know, unless it's a one-on-one -on -one class or if you're in a workshop environment, it's hard to back up and find out what, what it is that they're doing. I've always had a thing about artists, um, spe specifically watercolorists, who touch their paper, you know, when they're instructing. Many times you'll find that they don't explain, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing with your hand when you do that? Um, so I'm here to tell you what the reasoning behind that is. As you know, if you've worked in watercolor or any kind of fluid medium, you know that the more uh, fluid and wet that the surface is, that the more active the color will be on that surface. The drier the surface will be, the tighter and less active that color will be. So when you see artists or instructors actually take the back of their hand or the back of their fingers and touch the surface, what they're doing is trying to assess how damp that surface actually is. Whether they need to give it some time and let it dry some more, which means that they could do actually more accurate, detailed like um, work on it, or do they need to wet it so that they can um, apply more washes and let the color kind of go crazy and stuff like that. So that's the reason. And also the reason they're using the back of their hand is because it's actually less, you know, oily than your fingertips and stuff like that. So they're just trying to get a quick feel for the dampness and then how reactive the color is going to be when they, they place it onto that surface. So if you ever wondered and scratched your head, now you know the answer. So thanks for watching and we hope that you enjoy.